Yo guys, what is up? A BK Seeker here, and today I am going to uh, be teaching you how to edit, pretty much. Um, I'm going to be editing this that I'm editing, which I just started, pretty much. Um, pretty similar to Selfie, uh, different song, obviously, in different clips. But, yeah. Uh, so basically, all I've done so far, I've got it. Ignore these, really. These are all solids and text layers that I use for the typography. I can get to that later on, um, but then, so that's all the red ones, this is the song here, and basically I just made it invisible, and went to the waveform, so if you click the drop down arrow, and go to audio, waveform, like that, and basically I found the drop, which is here, which is where the first kill is, um, and I basically keyframed every beep so far. Well, you know, within 12 seconds. Um, I normally do it in bits, I don't get too far. Because I don't really know how long the edit's going to be. It might not be long at all. It might be 10 seconds, whatever. Um, but yeah, so basically, we've got it to kill on the beat. And basically, this is bits of syncing. Looks quite complex. Well, not really, but there's lots of layers. Lots of time stretching and stuff. And basically we've got the two cinematics here. I'm about to get into the second clip. So this is where I'm going to teach you guys what to do. So basically, um, if you don't know make make, make a composition, all you're going to do is drag the clip into your composition like layers. If this isn't here, you're going to drag it the clip into this little box here, which will make a new composition, which will start off your edit. Um, you want to make sure your settings are 1280 by 720 and 59 frames per second. You click OK, that's your composition. You won't need to bother with that again in the edit, supposedly, unless you come under any problems. But basically, I'm going to go get the clip here. Um, so I'm going to use the AK47 and Spaz. Now we got the clip, so basically the guy is standing there, so let's find it when that guy is standing there. So he's running over here. Boom boom boom. We've got the AK right now. And I don't think we're gonna bother with the AK clip, so let's see. Right now it's not. Okay. I want that barrel roll pretty desperately. So what we've got is, when it changes here, what we're going to do is make it go like this. We're going to speed this a little bit up. We do layer, time, time stretch. Whilst that layer is selected, part of the layer. And I do about 40 in. So basically, that makes it seem like it speeds up on the entrance of the clip and then goes to real time. And the kill is just there which is about right actually so I, c I can leave that there about uh, it's a little bit off let's change that yeah layer time time stretch and let's go about 90 which will do that and then move that clip back up. Basically, so that comes in from there. Barrel roll. Kill on the beat, which is here. Bang. Maybe. Speed this bit up here. Edit layer, layer. Time, time stretch. Give that another 40. 40 is like my go to for sinking. And bang. And the next kill is here. So we'll get it to the key, the hit marker. Yep. Let's get it on the exact frame. So you can use these here to get on the exact frames. Either beside play and pause. So there's previous and next frame. Which we found the frame that it starts on. Get that. And I'm basically doing it, each kill is at each beat. Now you don't have to do that, but it's just I like that kind of style of edit. That's quite long, 
So it's lay time stretch that. I think that's going to be about 20. Yep. Um, and boom, that speeds that up. And then you have the kill. Just like that. I mean, it could be a little bit shorter actually. About 18. Nope. 19. And the rest of that goes in. The kill. You could maybe slow this part down a bit here like so let me stretch to about 200 in fact now we'll make it go to here we'll give it about 300 let's give it about 280 instead then yep that's about right and then um right, okay Let's go here, so you got this slow motion here, after you've killed him. In fact, let's do this. Let's grab this. It's always a pain when you go back and edit it. Um, it really is. Let's change this to about 70. Here. In fact, let's delete this. Drag this to about here. Edit. Split the layer, then lay it time, time, stretch to 100. So it's now full time. Boom. Yeah, so I was just fixing that. That was a way to fix it. So it basically quick in, quick out, slow motion to the beat. Then on the next beat, it's going to kill here, which it literally does. But I'm just going to correct that a bit. Layer time time stretch to about I did not mean to do that. Seventy so you have the kill. So yeah, bang bang bang. Is there any kills out here? No. So that's it, pretty much. So we'll, we'll finish that with a slow motion. From about here to here. Delete this. This to here. Layer time. Time stretch to about 200. Nope, I thought it was 220. Nope, still no. I mean, we can go to 250 if we want. And then just trim it with all square bracket and bang. Right, and then let's go here, run preview this. Right, so I don't like that speed up here that we have. So basically I'm thinking if we just kind of delete that. Um, oh, it's not really that simple actually. Could it be? Yeah, black kill there. Uh, maybe if you... Right, how's about if we trim this? Alright. Maybe a little bit further actually. Edit split layer. Go to this front here. Time stretch. We'll give that about. Well, let's take it to 100, see where it brings us at. Right, so that's definitely need still speeding up a bit. 
40, no, ah, 45, okay, let's try this out. I say that works better. So, I mean, I've not really edited shotguns ever before, so it's not the best, so, you know. When you've edit thing, edit things before, you kind of learn how um, to deal with it and stuff. Um, but yeah, so basically that's that. Um, and that's what we're going to do for this video. That's about it. We should, this is just basically covered the syncing, the keyframes, stuff like that. Um, how to approach the kill on the beat, whatnot. Some little tips. It should have made it so you can see all the commands I type and stuff and everything. So, so yeah. Um, the next part will be about. We're just gonna stick with this little, you know, this little clip here. We're literally gonna do effects on the next one, and maybe some motion tracking. But yeah, that's about it. Guys, uh, thank you for watching. Peace out.